Hey, I am showing you guys how to basically do computing on your uh, Oculus. I have an Oculus 2, so my background around my room is in black and white. But, uh, well, let's see here. Let's, uh, I want to kind of move this, really, I want to move this over this way. Let's kind of center that. And, uh, but I want to add other browsers. So, let's say I could take maybe this tab, I think, and bring it over here. Okay. I do want to bring it a little bit more that way. And let's say I want another browser. And I'm going to bring that one over here, I guess. I'm going to try to straighten this out here real quick. Maybe. There we go. All right. So let's bring this more like that way. Bring that one there like this. Okay. Um, the other thing, okay, let's just say I want to, I'll go Facebook here on this one here. Obviously, I'm not going to log in. I'll go about YouTube video here. And then over here, I guess I will go Instagram. <coughs> mm, I'm going to say not now. All right, so I have these different browsers. Uh, also, I could use my hands, too, to manipulate stuff. Um, I can make things closer or further and, and uh, things. I, I think this could be a way of using the, using, uh, the Internet. I also want to say, too, is that... Uh, you can also like have a Bluetooth keyboard, and you can see my keyboard here on my lap. So if I needed to type, now I will say this: the Quest Three is in color and it's sharper. So seeing my keyboard and typing would be a lot more clearer than what I'm seeing here now. But uh, but then again, if you're a good typist. You know where to put your fingers to type. Also, I could say, for example, uh, you know, just do this here. If I needed to type something in, I also have a a keyboard here. Okay. So and now you see I'm using my fingers. And I'm going to type in, uh, how about I just type in my channel, V, I think that's R. B, O, B. I'm going to space, I don't know if I need to or not, but M, I, T. H, and then I will hit that and see what happens. Oh, okay. Well, see, there I am, the Simpson character. And, and there's my channel. Now, see, I can scroll up. I <coughs> You see, what I'm doing is I'm pinching my fingers. You see here? Let's see if I can show you. I'm trying to... <laughs> look at my screen and do that at the same time. So you can see I'm pinching my fingers. Okay. And I might already have a YouTube video of this already. But anyway, uh, this could be a, a cool way of, uh, you know, um, getting into your uh, thing. Now, I don't know if the voice control, see there's a microphone right here. Let's see. I guess I don't have that activated, but if I did, huh. okay, well, let's say I want to, um, go to my Google account, 
Oop, there it is, Google.com. And ding. There we go. So now I'm at, oh, actually, I'm at my Google account. Oh, I'm pointing at the wrong thing here. Okay. So, again, I'm using my fingers. You don't have to. You can use your controllers. So here I can go to all my stuff, my photos, my YouTube channel again, um, my email, my calendar, you know, whatever I want to do. <clears throat> uh, you, you know, contacts, whatever. Um, I'm not going to go into that because of privacy, but, uh, you can imagine <clears throat> even in schools how you can do multitasking recording here. Uh, I mean, recording, I mean, uh, computing here. Uh, so this is really pretty cool. Um, I do like... I'm going to go into Drive here, for example. That's another thing I want to talk about, too, eventually, is that um, a lot of people keep their paperwork and things like that. If you have a printer that has a scanner, or you can just buy a scanner these days, and uh, scan your stuff into your uh, Google Drive, and then you can bring up documents and things like that, like I have here. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, I'm going to see if I can scroll up here. I don't know if I could bring anything up. Well, even here, it, here's a untitled document. I'm going to open that up, I suppose. Okay, here it goes. So it says, P-Test Typing... Uh, documents hands free. Oh, I think what I was doing is I think I was talking to the computer and having it type in, you know, word for word. Uh, in this case, um, again, I don't have my voice thing set up here, but if I needed to type, obviously I have this keyboard or I have this keyboard too <clears throat> to type in. So you can actually type papers in here. You can do spreadsheets and things like that also. Let's see if I can go back. Uh, if I went to new, for example, see there's, I don't know if you can see how clearly that is, but you see docs, sheets, slideshows, forms, and other things. I wonder what more is. Oh, there it goes, more. Oh, you can do drawings, Google Maps. Google Sites, App Scripts, connect to more, more apps. <clears throat> anyway, so again, um, I think, you know, using a headset, uh, especially at 299 which is about the average of a laptop or whatever, um, you can pretty much do a lot of basic uh, computing with this. So I just thought I'd show you that, and like I said, I'm doing this hands-free. So, hey, you know, <clears throat> you should give it a try. Oh, and then, of course, like I was saying, you know, scan in your documents. You can, instead of having all this paper and unorganized, you can do that. You could even have uh, folders here. Let's see if I can show you a folder here. I don't know if I have any, but. Oops, that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, I see my drive here. Let me click onto that. And... <clears throat> oh, okay, so I have folders. I have my pictures of my dad, and then I have another folder here that I could share. And if you organize your stuff in the folders, you know, um, if you're in school, you could have all your math stuff. In one folder, you can have all your English stuff in one folder, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, if you don't do that, you can have your different, uh, you know, um, other things. You know, your 
uh, taxes in one and your, I don't know, your utility, whatever. You know what I'm saying. You can organize the stuff into the folders so you can easily find them. They're up on the cloud. You can also access Google, obviously, through your phone. So if you're on the run mobily, you can do that too. Anyway, so I just wanted to just kind of basically show you how to how you can a really cool way of doing computer work with a headset.